Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So we're at our next booth, Great Coasters International Incorporated, and we have the man, Claire. Can you tell me about what we're sitting in right now? This is a new Infinity Flyer that we developed last year. Uh, we pro proved it this past April at the Fun Spot uh, ride on the White Lightning. Uh, this past April. So this is the actual car that go around the track and it was fantastic. Now, this is a whole new design, like you said, was brought out last year or not. Uh, it looks beyond beautiful, but there's been quite a few changes from the old Millennium Flyers, correct? Can you talk about some of those changes? Well, the new changes are is we wanted to, we wanted to be able to take a car and be able to go upside down, do some inversions whatsoever. So we had to get, get this car to the class five. Uh, that's within the ASTM and the EN norm. So this car is allowing us to go upside down and that's where our next step is for great coasters. Um, we needed a car to do this. Excellent. Now, not just a car sometimes, you need special track to go upside down. And I hate to say it, but not hate to say it, you guys broke the internet last night. Uh, literally when you had your party for your 25th anniversary, you brought out something special, and it looks like a brand new piece of track. Can you tell me a little bit about that, or are we still hush hush? Uh, you know, I'll talk about it a little bit. The the steel track. Um, we needed something for the inversions. Uh, let's put it this way: it's much easier to install something that's already put together uh, to make an inversion than it is to hang upside down and pound boards into place. So it was so much easier just to go ahead and we wanted to develop something that we was, could build this in my office, ship it down there, put it together and hang it upside down or whatever. So much easier with a full piece than it is for multiple pieces of wood. And I gotta say, some of the design of it is revolutionary. I think you had to guy, you had to invent some sort of special machine to bend tabs and stuff like that. It looks amazing, guys. I mean, literally in person, photos don't do it justice. Neither does video. Of course, twenty fifth anniversary for GCI. What does that mean for you personally? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> um, I'm tired in a good way. Let's put it that way. I do so much traveling. It's amazing. Um, I mean, I'm never home anymore. My, my kids know me by the telephone. Um, I was hoping for them to be here this year for my 25th anniversary, but with both of them being in school, it was very difficult. One's in college, one's a senior in high school. It was tough to get them out of school to come down here. I'm hoping eventually they're gonna be coming to these shows with me, um, but we don't know. But, but anyways, I am, I'm traveling so much every year within Asia, Europe, and America, uh, pushing new product, pushing uh, new ideas, and meeting and greeting, and also negotiating contracts too. But um, you know, we we I re re um, uh, structured the company oh, about four or five years ago, and my vice president has really stepped up, and he's doing an amazing job. He's taking care of all my refurbishing now and I'm taking care of all new product and, and, and new rides, yes. So it, it's, 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 it's really coming around, trying to re, retrain people within the office and everything else, and it's going very well right now. And, but it means a lot of traveling for me. Now, of course, a lot of travel and everything else. And that's because you guys have so many attractions all over the world. And I know this one may put you on a little spot, and I'm not trying to say prejudice or anything, but. Is there one attraction that sticks out in your mind that kind of is close to the heart? One that means a lot to you? You know what? It will go back to my very first ride. I built a Hershey Park. That's my very first Woody. That was my baby. Um, that's what put us on the map. Um, Hershey Park, you know, good friends of ours. They took a chance for great coasters. Brand new company, you know. Yes, I've done some consulting for them uh, before I started, to, oh, when I initially started the company before the company and you know they gave us the break and that's what took us where we are today and uh, you know we went back five years later and built them the lightning racer which you know at that time we already had developed our Millennium Flyers um, and so I would say Hershey's Wildcat my very first ride put us on the map um, it's probably my favorite but I don't have a favorite design out there because it's always my next ride that I'm building. I never want to, there's, there's no prejudice against anybody, um, but 
you know, every ride that we design, we take it one step further. And again, I cannot wait to see what you guys have for the next 25 years. It's been amazing to see you guys progress as a company. I, I've seen you from your first beginnings Wildcat all the way to where we are with doing test runs with Infinity Flyers, guys. The trains that we're sitting in right now at Fun Spot America. Again, we're very excited to see what you guys have going forward. And Claire, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you.